Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the AJW number UX1C. This is a set of their C-type shower curtain rod flanges. These are a very heavy-duty version of a shower rod flange, the C-type is. Very thick piece of stainless steel material that's here, 11 gauge in fact. So quite substantial. I'll tell you, a, a pair of these with their mounting tenon plates weighs about 0.94 pounds. Uh, let's take a closer look at all of the material that comes with. When you buy a flange, uh, and I've been asked this question in the past, and the manufacturer doesn't make it clear in their catalog, so it's a valid question. How many do, how many do I get when I buy one? I mean, you're always pretty much going to need two. Um, <clears throat> I suppose if you have an L-shaped shower flange, you're going to need more than two, but you're going to need certainly two. But yes, they do indeed come in multiples of two when you buy one. So when you buy one, we're going to send you one pair, is what the short answer is. Um, <clears throat> okay, we have all the screws. Thank you very much, AJW. That is appreciated. So your mounting or your tenon plate, that's going to go down to the wall. Okay, so this will get mounted exactly where your, your, this, this plate is used in their grab bars as well. They have a, a style of grab bar. There are three mounting types of their grab bars. Surface mounted exposed flange, surface mounted with a concealed snap flange. Then you, the third type is the uh, tenon plate style. So you'll mount this to where you're going to mount your material to um, and secure it to the wall. Uh, Fasteners are not included for this tenon plate. The diameter of that, about two and just shy on two and three quarter, about two and eleven sixteenths. Overall thickness of the material is pushing three eighths of an inch. <clears throat> so when that gets mounted to the wall, and again, there are two of them, you're going to take your two flanges and obviously slide them over your rod. <clears throat> the um, The thought occurred to me, how much room do you actually have? How much, you know, what, what si sort of room do you need uh, in terms of the length of the bar? So when you mount these to the wall, and you slide the flange over your rod, the rod is certainly going to be longer than that opening size, but the rod's got to be the right size in order to be able for you to be able to temporarily tip it up and get it installed between your two tenon plates. Okay. Shouldn't be too much trouble with that, getting that slid in, into there. Then, once that's done, you'll notice that there are there are four holes around the circumference of the mounting plate that will then fit over. And then into each of those holes, which are tapped, you'll insert a set screw. There are a total of eight set screws for this <clears throat> for this entire. For this entire kit okay and that's what a type c flange is now there are other flange types that are here as well um, that ajw produces the and if you were to click the link there is a above this video there's a row a row of horizontal navigation if you click on you'll see it says bathroom hardware shower tub accessories flanges then click ajw and it will come up with all of their lettered flange sets the A style is nice because that's a very a petite, concealed uh, sort of, not concealed, but it's a much smaller footprint style, uh, a bit less overwhelming than seeing a very large plate of stainless steel. There's the B type that's there um, that is uh, going to be noticeably less robust in terms of installation. That material is 22 gauge. The E type along with the C type. The J and K type. Okay, so the J the J type is a snap cover, um, and and it's as I look at these, I realize that they basically mimic the different mounting types of their grab bars themselves, and then they have that K type uh, as well that you can review all of those technical drawings. Uh, the E type might be nice um, if you need to, I suppose, quickly and easily remove the rod from the wall.
the tech sheet on the E-Type does indeed show that it would permit, uh, once the flanges were installed, that rod to be popped out of place. Um, I would imagine that there's going to be an application in healthcare that would certainly like that would certainly use that. So all of the different flange types will come up, and then they'll come up for the um, we've got two different rod diameters. So you're going to have your UX1A, let's say, which is going to be typical for your inch and a quarter rod, and then your UX2A, which is going to be typical, just using as an example, for an inch and a half uh, outside diameter rod. So different flange types uh, will be there for different rod diameters as well. If you have any questions on the HAW, their part number UX1C, C-type shower curtain rod flange mounting kit is really what it is, or any other HAW product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.